All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. As the snow smelt in our Scottish village, the stones that define our domain begin poking through, and the clans start moving them around, trying to gain more land. In Shot and Totten, we will have to play a number of mini poker hands to defend our land and claim enough stones to win the game. Hi guys, my name is Guy. And my name is Pat. You're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles, so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with the time code, and we'll add them to the subtitles. So the player who has most recently travelled near Scotland is the starting player in this game, and since I've had the pleasure of visiting Scotland a couple of times, I'm going to be going first today. So. You can see here in the middle of the table that we have nine tiles and these are the stones that we're going to be fighting over. And so in Shot and Totten we're going to have a hand of six cards and then we're going to be placing them on the table here beside these stones. And the person who wins five stones or who wins three stones beside each other will be the winner of this game. Now to win a hand it's a bit like poker. So if you look here we have this player aid and this shows you what hands can win. So the weakest hand is just a sum and that's just the value of all the cards added up. Next you have a run which is just three consecutive numbers. So two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. Then we have color. So color is just three cards of the same suit. Then we have three of a kind, so three of the same number, three fours, three sevens or whatever. And finally we have a color run, which is a run and a color together. So three consecutive numbers in the same color. All right. So we're just going to get straight down to playing because it's a very, very simple rule game. But on each turn, all we'll do is we'll play a card and draw a card. All right. So the first thing we do is deal six cards. Okay. So so let's shuffle the card first. Yep. Mm -hmm. So give these a good mix up. Mm -hmm. Give me six color runs. <laughs> <Straight away. laughs> That'd be nice. I generally tend to get like ones and twos mm -hmm. in my hand, you know. <laughs> Very unlucky draws. We'll mm -hmm. see how we go today. Okay, and six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Okay. So I'll be placing in this area and you place on the bottom area. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so my first card will be, I'm going to play at three down here on the end. Ooh. I'm drawing your card. Three. Okay, so I am going to play a nine in the middle oh. just to intimidate you. <laughs> <laughs> that is very intimidating, right? <laughs> okay, back to me. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can scare you with my five. So I'll go down here for this one. Mm, five of yellow? <laughs> five of yellows, yeah. Very scary. And just one other thing, when you play a straight or a, a run as it's called, it doesn't matter what order you play the cards down in. So for example, if Gly wants to play a nine, eight and seven here, she could play the seven next and then the eight after that. The order isn't important. Okay. Okay. So get a yellow, five of yellow. Mm-hmm. See if you can do something about my one. Oh, <laughs> very intimidating that one, but mm -hmm. I might see if I can put a three here. I'll turn it around so that you guys can see the art. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a six here. Yeah, it's six. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're going for another three down here. Oh, sorry, right, turn that around there. Oh, wow, you kind of lucked. Yeah, one. so you're not going to be able to get a one, two, three there anyway, right? So. Ooh, or not of the same color anyway. Wow. Oh, 
okay so that's six i'm going to put a six here okay mm -hmm. wow so you're going for runs here you don't want to get a three of a kind uh, let me try this here so it's a red two and a new card mm -hmm. i love the art on these cards it's very yeah. funny yeah the the slogan of the game is kill or be killed <laughs> very thinky game too it is it is so we're going for a five there huh mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna go for a four here oh dear i wonder do you have mm -hmm. my five let's see what happens here we're going to play a green seven and i'm going to play an eight here purple eight no i see hoping to get a a run up there are you or a, a color run all right we're going to go with a green six here Ooh! wow it's tough to beat huh <laughs> very very tough to beat yep and if it's a tie for example if we both got a six, a seven, and an eight down here, then the person who placed the third card down first will be the winner. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put a nine here. Oh, so I have to keep the purple seven out of your hand, mm -hmm. which of course, <laughs> there's nothing I can do if you draw it, but. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to claim the first stone. So this three goes in here. And so now normally you can't claim a stone until both of you have played three cards on on either side of the stone but if you can prove that you can't be beaten then you can claim the stone so there's no way that Gly can beat these threes by having this one down because the best hand she could get would be one two, one two three right and the three of browns is already there so i claim this stone like this and draw a new oh. card okay let's move this like this and you can see the in the art. art okay so my turn i'm going to do six seven. Oh wow oh wow indeed mm -hmm. it's a bit of <laughs> luck on which card you draw yeah it's going so to... scared you're gonna get my purple seven <laughs> if you don't already have it of course right i am going to chance this one so i'm going to put a yellow three in here i had a lot of threes <laughs> wow you've got all the threes there so you're looking for five three four in that area oh. maybe <laughs> maybe not don't want to give away any strategy <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna put a yellow nine there is that so second i always get confused with it <laughs> <laughs> okay right. yeah mm -hmm. all right i am going to put let me see here i think i'm going to go for a nine over here a green nine mm. a green nine yeah mm -hmm. i'm going to put two here all right mm. i will maybe go for a four here so a green four okay i am going to put a two here mm -hmm. all right oh. and i've got another four to go in here this way around wow so you're going for a four there mm, yeah one more four would win that one right hmm i'm going for an eight here uh, my yellow four might not be enough over there hmm 
Now I have a bit of a dilemma here. I need too many fours. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can I do? You already have one stone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play a red four down here. So that means I win this stone. Wow. Yeah, but unfortunately it affects me down this end. Would have been nice to finish that, but I wasn't guaranteed the win there. And you can't beat this, so I win that stone. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to play this. Oh, you're getting a good run there. Okay. I'm going to play another nine down here. Hmm. I'm going to play six. Oh, here. you got it, did you? Yeah, so I'm going to claim this stone because the only thing you can beat that is if you have eight, seven, six, but five, three, four. You're probably looking for five. Even three, if four. I get the four, it won't beat it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now the other thing is we can no longer play cards down to stones that have been claimed. So I can't play any cards down here anymore, which is unfortunate. Mm, where is my purple seven? <laughs> I would like to get that. <laughs> I'd like to get that out of the way. I've got a <laughs> lot of stuff here all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know if I can complete them. Yeah, I, I'm having some issues there too. So now I wish that this was over here. <laughs> so I'd at least have a chance of doing something about it. But alas not to be so I'm going to try I'm going to play a purple five in here that scares me a bit I thought <laughs> I was like kind of you know getting higher yeah mm -hmm. so I think that I'm going to play a five here Five there, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with. I'm going to play a blue eight in here. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to play eight here. So I don't think you can beat that. Seven okay, yeah. six. Is there a green eight? The only thing you can beat that is seven six. Oh, but eight. even if I get the oh. eight, you'll have placed yours first. Yeah, so you win that one. Mm hmm second stone okay and i got my red one so that'll go in here and new card oh running wow. the cards are running short right yeah but <laughs> i really don't know what to do because i have no other space to put i only have this one there uh, this is this one is yeah <laughs> this is kind of blocked there so um, yeah sometimes there's no choice right yeah okay i'm gonna put eight there oh okay not happy to see that you had that okay you have the seven and six here plus you have the four <laughs> here <laughs> yeah so your best bet is just a color there right yeah and i am going to try I'll get a yellow six in here. Wow. Uh -huh. Okay, I am going to put two there. All right, you're going to go hoping for a, uh, <laughs> hoping to get a run there. I hope I can get a, a, the card that I need in there. What do I need? Another nine. So over this side then, because there's really no other way for me to beat you there. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the blue five isn't out yet either, is it? Oh, we're both looking for nines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm left with little choice over here, I think. Oh, I'm not. That's still a possibility, isn't it? There's a few there are still possibilities, but... <laughs> Okay, I am just going to have to chance this. So I'm going to play a seven yellow in here. Wow, you're looking for six, seven, eight there. Because she already played five. 
right? Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put one here. Oh, Oops. Dear. Where is my purple seven? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. What can I do here? I guess like, all the cards I'm looking for aren't coming out. How many eights are at? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm just going to play a blue seven here. Wow. And I can't play on these two. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's frustrating having to play a bad card down, like yeah. when you've no other choices, right? Definitely no other choice there. You're probably gonna go for color as well in here. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, because your nine is already here. Mm hmm. Hmm. So I guess like. Because I can't, I have no other place to put, so I guess I'm going to put there one. Okay. Wow. Uh, now, so I am going to play your purple seven. Oh my god. <laughs> so that means that I win this one. I can claim this stone. And wow. then I get a new card. Wow. You can claim the stone there. I already have three. Mm, yep. Wow. I'm just gonna go for eight here for Yeah, so something. you're just going to get some. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that means that okay, so I am going to play I got the nine for here. Wow. So I'm going to play that one down. So you need to get that green three. Wait, some. I think it's in your hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the only way is five, seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that I can't beat you there. In here as well, like I really don't have any choice here too. So I'm going to go for a summation here. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think even though I could do other things. Mm. Um, hmm. I think you can beat that. <laughs> yeah. I think, well, first of all, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. I just, I if I play this card, all I need to do is play this card, I think, to win. You, I just want to make sure that I don't <laughs> lose it stupidly here. So I am going to play the green three here. Oh, there's my three. Which ends the game because yeah. although you will win this one on the sum, so mm. six and eight is 14, you can only claim it after you play a card, right? Yes. And so I claim this stone here because you can't get the three. And I have yeah. three stones in a row. Oh, <laughs> so, congratulations. That's it. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Getting a high number like nine out in the middle is a good way to start. It is intimidating to your opponent and you can aim for a three of a kind or a high value color run. In Shot and Totten, you're at a bit of a disadvantage when you go first. It's nice to see what your opponent is playing so you can react and play a higher number. It is tough that you can't play cards on a claimed stone. Sometimes you have nothing useful in your hand and you have to play a card somewhere. In this case, it is best to play a card on a stone that you are least likely to win and try to go for a color or a run. If you see your opponent going for a three of a kind of a high number like an eight or a nine, it's a good idea to try to go for a color run there. Even if you only get a one, two and a three of the same color, that's still enough to win the stone. You should try not to play low numbers like 1s and 2s on a stone that have no cards yet because it gives your opponent a chance to play relatively low numbers and still have the advantage. I was a bit worried when I played the red 4 on the other two 4s because I could have used that 4 to complete the 2-3-4 color run on the other side. But I knew I was guaranteed to be able to claim that stone because Gly had already played two twos on that stone. 
It turned out that that was one of the three stones in a row I used to secure the win. So that's it for today. You have been watching Shot and Totten here on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks a lot for staying with us. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye. Bye.